money. It's a very useful resource in Hypixel Skyblock and there's many ways to obtain coins. Some of which are better, some are more fun, and others are for early game. In this video, I will mention all of the money making methods that I used to obtain over a 6 billion coin net worth in slightly over 3 months. If we forget about the fact that I am a tiny bit lucky. I've included timestamps in the description if you want to skip about, and the money making methods are also ordered by how early into my profile I did them, hopefully providing a rough idea on how much gear and expertise you need to do such method. If you're lucky enough to be met with Diana upon recently starting a profile, you can dig up griffin burrows either without a griffin or with a common griffin in order to collect griffin feathers. Assuming you have a waypoints mod like Soupy V2 and a decent enough setup to be able to warp and maneuver around the map at a somewhat decent rate, you should be able to get 30 to 50 feathers an hour, each feather selling for 130,000 coins during Diana and upwards of 200,000 coins if sold when Diana hasn't beat Maya for a couple of weeks. This can harness up to 10 million coins per hour if you're very efficient. This is actually how I made a lot of my initial money, as Diana was mayor soon after I started my profile. Although not a money making method, powder mining does generate a somewhat decent amount of coins for how easy it is to do, as well as both types of powder, which will be beneficial if you want to get into mining, which I'll mention later on. However, you preferably want to have hard mine 7 before powder mining. From the data I gathered in my 25 hours of powder mining video, it's around about 5.6 million coins per hour when in the precursor remnants. Rune mining is yet to this day a solid money making method, as it doesn't rely on bazaar prices too much but rather the NPC sell price, which probably won't change anytime soon. I asked a fellow Skyblock Rancer, Maximus New, how much money he makes ruby mining, and he said he makes somewhere between 33 and 36 million coins per hour. However, his mining setup is close to maxed out and he has 20 ping. This method is not as viable if you have a higher ping like me. It also requires 4 mil 4 mil powder at the minimum, so it requires some grinding before being at least somewhat viable. If you happen to have a Hyperion, Tier 1 Kuja is actually quite good for money, assuming you buy a carry for Tier 2 and 3, to be able to roll better attributes on the loot you get at the end of each run, you can have a chance of rolling God Roll Armor, which sells for hefty sums of coins. This is however very RNG dependent, but even then most chests are often around 1 million coins profit since basic keys are very cheap and practically free if you farm mini bosses for them. When I did 25 runs of basic tier Kudra, I got around 23 million coins, not including any Crimson Essence. This amount of runs would by theory take somewhat around an hour and a bit if you stay in one good party for the whole time. Dungeons is a weird way to make money. If going for floor completion loot, it can be very inconsistent, since when running floor 7, you can be like me and drop a handle in 54 runs, or be unlucky and not drop anything for 400 runs. It's very luck dependent and requires more than 4 brain cells to do, maybe 5 or so if you're trying to be efficient. However, I find dungeons enjoyable, so that's an added bonus despite not being as good for profit. Although I haven't farmed a lot, I have heard that farming pumpkins and wheat makes somewhat good early game money, especially with how easily accessible farming now is with the garden update. I'm obviously not an expert on farming, so take my words with a grain of salt. In case you can't ruby mine due to high ping and don't want to sapphire dillo mine because structures get grieved every 10 minutes, you can get into amber or amethyst armadillo mining. With my private Amberu and just about acceptable powder amounts and somewhat decent mining gear, I make around 32 million per hour. You need at least 2 mil 2 mil powder however, as well as a route for this to work out. Probably the method that requires the most gear in the whole video, tier 3 Kuja is a hot pick for many. The runs are fast with a good party and there are several red drops that you can get, such as Fatal Tempo, God Roll Armor and Kuja Cores. All of these are based on luck, but if you're running Kuja efficiently and aren't the unluckiest man in the world, you'll be able to make some solid profit. You most likely need a Terminator, Precursor, and Terror Armor, as well as a Hype Mage clear set, but you might just be able to get away with a clear set if you can stun well. An added bonus is that Kudra is actually pretty fun, at least in my opinion. Last method in this video is running Diana with a 6 person party or with legendary griffin pets. This is in order to loot share each other's minus inquisitors. A daily sacks and some form of magic find set is recommended as it increases the chance of dropping the rarest drops like Chimera, the minus relic and the daedalus stick. However, a big portion of your profits will still come from griffin feathers, turtle shamits and enchanted gold. So far, I've been making almost 20 million coins per hour with Diana, although I have dropped a minus relic which adds like 72 mil to the total profit. So that's about it. A lot of these money making methods are sort of well known already and some of them aren't specifically money making methods, but I didn't really want to make a video on money making methods that I knew nothing about, but rather could talk about them and explain the process behind doing them somewhat. Anyways, with that said, thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing as I am opening a Discord server at 1000 subs. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you around.